Okay, so 2.2. Mpo's sister, Anele, has a vegetable garden. She grows vegetables that are considered useful for tooth growth. She sells mixed vegetable packs at a local market during weekends. So now on table four here shows the cost price of for growing, processing and packaging the vegetables as well as the selling price of each pack of mixed vegetables. Now let's look at the table, cost price and selling price of one kilogram of mixed vegetables. So here the item is one kilogram of mixed veg and it costs 12 rands and 50 cents to buy or to grow. And then um, selling it, she sells it at 25 rands. Now um, shows table five shows the monthly fixed costs. So this is how much she pays to... Um, for the rent and transport so this is fixed it does not change now if you just look at um the total she's growing the vegetables she's renting a stall and she has transport these are all costs it costs 12 rand 50 rands to 12 rands and 50 cents to grow a packet of um veggies and then she's still going to have to pay rent for the stall and to transport the veggies to the stall Now it says use table 4 and 5 above to answer the questions that follow. Calculate Anela's total monthly fixed cost. That is not a problem. As long as you know which ones are the cost, it's going to be easy. Remember, this is the cost for growing vegetables and this is the cost for rent and for transport. But the question says calculate one for fixed. Now growing vegetables depends on how much she grows them. Like how many vegetables, uh, which one she's growing. The cost is going to depend on all of that, pesticides and everything else that she needs to grow the vegetables. But the fixed cost, it doesn't change rent and transport. So 2.2.1 will just be rent and transport. Rent is 140 and... Transport is 60 rand, giving her a total cost of 200 that is fixed every month. So every month she has to make sure she has this money for her rent and for her transport. The formula below is used to calculate analyst expenses for one month. And then let's look at the formula. It says expenses is equal to 200 rand. There is our expense. See, the answer was right there below. Plus 12 rand 50. That 12 rand 50 is the cost for one kilogram, right? And times the number of packets. Okay. So table six, income and expenditure of one kilogram mixed vegetable packs. Uh, number of packs. If she does not um, sell any vegetable packages... Her cost will only be the fixed. Remember, she still has to pay rent for her store. She still has to pay transport, right? So her expense will be 200 rand, but she will not make any income because her money comes from selling the packages at 25 rands. But if she does a uh, sell packets, let's say here where she sells five packets, she can make 125 rands and the cost, of course, increases because she now she has the cost for growing the vegetables as well is included there. Use the above formula to calculate the missing values A and B, okay? A is the expenses and b is the number of packets right so if we look at the formula before you even calculate if you look at the formula a is this part but the b one is this part over here so let's make sure when we substitute we substitute on the right place okay so let's calculate a i'm first going to uh, copy the formula i know for a fact that i'm going to use the formula they said so so i'm going to say expenses in rands is equal to then it says there it's 200 rands plus 12 rand 50 uh, multiplied by the number of packets right so a which is this part here a um is expenses so that's going to be easy a is equal to 200 rands plus 12 rand 50 multiplied by number of packets 
and i'm just going to come back and check double check where a is a is where there is 10 packets so i can use that packets um and say number of packets there is 10 so the cost of 10 is so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to write the 200 plus board mass i have to start multiplying these two first and then i'm going to get here 125 this basically means that the cost to make the vegetables um package them and all of that is will cost 125 rands then the money for rent and transport so the total cost for this business this month is 325 rands they lovely and if she does sell all 10 of them she will make 250 rands and then we're going to go to b again we're going to use the same formula because we do have number of packets there so we're going to say expenses is equal to and it says 200 plus 12 rand 50 times number of packets right so this time we are looking for B. Look where B is. B is right there at the top. And it says, what is at the top there? Number of packets. So this is not expenses, but it is number of packets, which means we have to have um, expenses. Now, how much are the expenses there where B is? The expenses are 400. That's good. That's fine. Okay, so there we have 400 instead of expenses we'll put 400 rand because we have it and then we'll say 200 plus 12 rand 50 multiplied by b now you say how am i going to get b easy first of all this multiplies this so let's remove two first so what we're going to do is we're going to say 400 minus 200 we just took 200 to the side when it crossed here it changed the sign from positive to negative and then we say is equal to and now we are left with 12 rains and 50 cents multiplying okay so now we're going to say 400 minus 200 no need for a calculator there that's 200 is equal to so what we're going to do now is since 12 rand 50 multiplies b we are going to do the opposite by saying this side we are going to divide this side by 12 rand 50 and we're going to divide this side by 12 rand 50 so that cancels that and then we are left with 200 divided by 12 rand and 50 cents giving us b so now we can say b is equal to and we say 200 divided by 12 rands and 50 cents that is 16 rands 2.2.3 answer the questions that follow by using table 6 and the graph drawn on the answer sheet show, showing the expenses for the mixed vegetable packs so let's first see what are they talking about graph table six and the graph so there's the table that we're going to use there which is table six it goes with this graph over here which says that the top income and expenditure uh, for of one kilogram mix veg and it says the number of one kilogram mix veggies and the amount in rent stay now before we continue let's just um talk about one thing that is important you see here on the x-axis this is the independent variable ha sometimes they might make you uh, identify which one is the independent variable or the dependent variable now here the mixed veggies are independent because in order to make money you need the veggies right you don't need the money to make the veggies in this case you need the veggies to make money so if you if the number of veggies do not depend on the money but the money depends on the number of veggies you have if you have 10 veggies you will make more money than when you have five so the money depends on the number of veggies and that's how you identify the independent variable but if you have a graph and they say which one is independent which one is dependent just go to the graph <laughs> just go to the graph and redo the one on the x-axis that's the one that is independent and the one on the y-axis is the one that is dependent okay so let's look at what they want us to do here um use the same grid 
uh, provided in on the answer sheet to draw another line graph showing the income from the sales of the mixed vegetable pets. No problem. Let's start. Okay, so here the income starts a number of packs is zero and the income will be zero. So where does our graph start? Number of packs is zero and the, the amount is zero so the graph starts right there now before we continue i want us to look at this graph which says zero number of packs this side and when you read this side the money is 200 remember we said the fixed deposit is 200 and some that's how you can read the fixed deposit on the graph the fixed the fixed expense on the graph is by looking at where the graph begins Okay, let's do the plot the next one. 125 um, rands and five packets. Five packets there. 125, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200. Okay, they do count in 20s. <laughs> I was just I was just guessing. So if 125 at 400 is oh <laughs> I made a mistake there. And the number of packets there is 16. So 400, we said that um, 16 packets. Nah, that's not 16. That's not in the middle. That's 15, 20. Oh my God, that's 15. Um... 16 should be somewhere there. And 35 and 875. 35 and 700 is there. 700, 800 is there. 800 and... 75 okay so that's going to be close to 900 so that's 820 840 860 880 so it's going to be between 880 and they so it's going to be there let me just make a mark over here and 40 and 1000 rands i'm just gonna to go to 1000 rand line and just make it clear okay so 40 is somewhere there and they meet them. Then we have 50 and 1,250. 50 is this line here. 1,200 is here. Okay, there it is. And then 1,250 will be in the middle. Um, 1,246810. 1,250 would be 1,220, 240, 250 will be in the middle there. So I'm just going to join the dots now because um, using a, you use a ruler. So I'm just going to join them carelessly. But you're supposed to use a ruler. Supposed to use a ruler. Just going to carelessly do it. There. So just correcting the error that I made there, the line is straight there. I plotted that wrong. I went to 225 instead of 125. But yeah, that's how it joins uh, with the rest.